This is my 35th visit to Italy, and once again it's organized by Rossano Ercolini of Ambiente e Futuro. Those are his contact details. Uh, he's a primary school teacher. Um, incinerator is a waste of valuable material resources. It wastes the opportunity to really fight global warming. They produce a toxic ash. They produce toxic air emissions. Incineration is not sustainable. And these toxic air emissions include acid gases, uh, toxic metals like lead and cadmium and mercury, and new synthesized compounds called dioxins and furans. Now, Dr. Veronese uh, went on public television, primetime television, and said the cancer risk near incinerators was zero. In my view, that statement was not scientific. It was not uh, responsible. Uh, and he should apologize to the Italian people. It's, it's not scientific because we know that we know that several of these metals cause cancer, and we know that dioxins and furans are the most potent promoters of cancer we've ever studied. And we know that there are nanoparticles, and we know that these machines can't capture those nanoparticles. To say then there is zero risk is absolutely unscientific. And once they're in the blood, they can be distributed to every tissue in the body, and again they pass through the membranes and they're inside the tissues. You'd have to breathe the air next to a grazing cow for eight months to get as much dioxin as in one liter of cow's milk. The next problem is that the dioxins accumulate in our fat. We can't get rid of them. Or rather, the man can't get rid of dioxins. The woman is eating the food, animal fat, chicken, beef, pork, eggs, and so on, for 20 years, 25 years, and then when she has the, the baby, the dioxins that she's accumulated for 25 years move into the fetus for nine months. And so it is the fetus which gets the highest dose of dioxins. 